As the oil continues to spill into the Gulf, it is time to recognize a World Ocean Day and take the first critical steps to saving this vital resource. I think the American people are outraged, and they want to know how did this happen, they want to know how is it going to be stopped, and how is it going to be cleaned up. I think the administration needs to tell us what their game plan is and what their actions are. Yes, the administration needs to be forthcoming with information, but we also need to rein in the oil industry and make sure that any uh, drilling in the oceans is done in the maximum safe way. For the West Coast, I've authored the West Coast Ocean Protection Act that would prohibit new leases off the West Coast of, Ca of California, Oregon, and Washington. America has questions for this administration on how they're going to stop this leak, how we're going to protect our oceans and the wildlife, and how this is going to be cleaned up. You know, most administrations, when they take office, say, we're ready for the job day one. Well, day one was a year and a half ago. And we still have a crisis in the Gulf, and they, people want to know, well, where is the administration? We have to understand that we have been pursuing a way of life that is not sustainable. It's not sustainable for we as human beings. It's not sustainable for our planet. But I think the administration needs to come forward and, and give some serious answers to the American people. As people look to the news and to the webcams of the leak, they want to know from this administration, what's the answer? How, how is this going to be stopped? How is this going to be addressed? How is it going to be cleaned up? A series of efforts, the, the litany that we have heard from our colleagues when they were in charge uh, was to cut back on regulation, to move it faster, to do more drill baby drill. I mean, I'm happy to go toe to toe with my friend uh, in terms of what the Republicans did and their policies to strip the federal government of the ability to move forward. But I think what we need to do is talk about where we're going forward to reduce our reliance on imported oil and domestically produced fossil fuels. Yes, well, with all due respect to the gentleman from Oregon, since the Democrats have been in, in charge of the House for the past three and a half years, if there were any regulatory or legislative issues or resolutions that needed to be passed, certainly we would have seen those and they would have moved forward out of this House. Unfortunately, what we see out of this House is a resolution for World Ocean Day. A resolution for World Ocean Day while we have this crisis going on down in the Gulf and the administration still not giving us answers as to, to how is this going to be addressed. I mean, the, the big question that everybody has in the news is not what is BP doing or what is they going to be doing next or is the fix that they currently are pursuing going to work, but what is this administration's answer to, to how this should be addressed? What should be being done? President Obama has already directed a task force to develop, with public input, recommendations for a national ocean policy which are expected soon. This is an important first step that will better protect our oceans. But there's another step that Congress can take. So I urge my colleagues to join with me, not only in supporting this important resolution recognizing World Oceans Day, but as our colleague from Oregon has re just stated, moving forward taking the collective responsibility, the stewardship that we share to defend and care for our water planet. Yes, Mr. Speaker, the prior speaker indicated that the president has pulled together uh, a task force for a national ocean policy and is looking for public input. I think we know what that public input is. It's, Mr. President, tell the American people how this leak is going to be stopped. Tell us how it, this cleanup is going to occur and tell us how this is going to be avoided in the future. The public input is stop the leak. Uh, does the other side have any speakers? I, I believe I'm the only speaker at this point. Okay, thank you.